you were shaking hands again at the end. Uh, is that kind of a, become your thing now? Let I mean, the fans know you appreciate it. Yeah, it's a collective unit. I mean, we came, like, as a team, we did it, and the fans, they gave so much energy also, so I feel like they deserve handshakes too. Pat, you talking about that role you got out there in the second half, but made, I think, three threes there in a pretty quick stretch? Uh, I mean, I just want to give credit to my teammates for for believing in me. I mean, obviously, the, like I said, the past month's been kind of frustrating, but they still tell me to get my head up and, and to keep shooting, and, and they they – keep reiterating that I'm going to hit big shots and, and I just want to uh, <clears throat> congratulate them for, for believing in me because it's special to me because not many teams and not many teammates do that. So I really appreciate that for my teammates. Trey, twice in the first half lines tied the game with a three. You countered both times with a three of your own. Was there a personal rivalry that may have inspired you in this game? Uh, no, I don't know the kid, but I mean... He hit big shots because they believe, his teammates believe that he's a big uh, shot maker. And my teammates believe that I'm a big shot maker. So, I mean, it just happened to be in the moment of the game. And we needed a bucket to stop they, uh, momentum. And I took it upon myself to shoot the shot. Isaiah, what did you guys do differently on Lions? He only had two points in the second half. I know he had foul trouble and fouled out, but he wasn't as effective even when he was in there. Uh, me, personally, I wanted to... Uh, take the charge of being more intense on them. Uh, that was the main thing I was really trying to focus on, just to take that road uh, on the defensive end and just try to shut him down as much as I can. He's a good player. But uh, really, second half, I really got into myself and my players just telling me to lock him down, try to limit his shots, and uh, definitely uh, go at him on defense because he, had, he was in foul trouble. So. Do you feel like you, like you got fouled nine times tonight? Yeah, I looked at that. I'm like, what's going on? Do you physically feel that by the end of the game? Oh, yes, most definitely. Uh, I'm going to be sore. I'm definitely going to need an ice bath, but that just comes with the game. I don't do ice. Isaiah, <laughs> <laughs> like, you, like, you guys knew the significance of this game. How did it feel when you were in it? The crowd was going uh, it, it felt great. Uh, we knew it was going to be a big game. Uh, we knew, matter of fact, we knew Sunday that we was all wired up. We was ready to play. The, we was ready to play Sunday. So definitely, with the crowd coming in and giving us a high energy, that really helped us a lot. And definitely, the players, everybody was just ready to go. We was pumped. We was ready for this Sunday. So we gotta get ready for Sanford coming up. To add, to add on to that, though, I mean, uh, coach always emphasizes to not let the or the, we can't let the rely on the fans to bring our energy. We have to bring the energy to the fans. And I feel like tonight we did a great job of that collectively. So I mean, just to add on what what you asked from there, I mean, that's I mean, some you got some teams they'll rely on the crowd and then it's a sloppy game. But I feel like if we bring the energy, they they're with us throughout the whole game and engage. Well, you try you do, you guys knew the significance of the game, but it felt like every possession mattered. Uh, like I said earlier, it was like it felt like a tournament game. Like we knew we had to get stops to uh, close it out, so uh, we came together and did that. So. Look, looking forward to Sanford. I think they lost by about forty tonight. Do you guys have to guard against you know overconfidence or anything like that? We got to guard against everybody. Mm -hmm. the game of basketball is not based on what somebody else did to somebody. I mean, you got to take every game serious, or we can be down forty to them. Like anything is possible. So we just got to go there. Stay ego on defense like we were tonight. So. Yeah, we got a, a coach emphasize letting the 24-hour rule and just just enjoy the win tonight. But I mean, if you realize it, we're 12, 12 and three. The season's not over. We still got three games left. If we lose, I mean, we're right in the same spot that, that we were 13, before the game. 13-2. 13-2. Right. Oh, 13-2. I'm looking at the wrong. But anyways, if we lose tonight and, and Furman night. wins, I'm saying if we, uh, if we lose next game. <laughs> <laughs> and Furman wins, then we tied, and it's, it's the same thing. Right. So, I mean, we just had to lock in, and, I, and we're going to do that. We, we want to win. We want to win a championship, and we're locked in 1 through 13. So, I mean, I know we won't slip on that. Appreciate you. <laughs> you didn't know this turned into a mess. Yeah, don't throw that on bloopers. <laughs> <laughs> Lock top 10.